hey, no, we're not out in the field right now. But, but Jim okay. and I had some good stuff that we wanted to tell you. Yeah, we wanted to mention that the setup that we did uh, to demonstrate the time-lapse capabilities of the uh, slider, and I didn't mention the name. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I did in this case is I set up the camera and put it on uh, aperture priority and lowered the app to d with the lowest point, which was one second. I know it goes down to zero, but it actually won't stay. I don't know why they have it zero, because the lowest it can go is one second. And what that will do is that sends a signal to the camera to trigger it. If you were doing something at night, of course, you don't want a one-second exposure unless you're using a heavy ND filter. Right. So if you're using it at night, then you can put the camera on ball mode and then let the motor controller control the, uh, the camera. You know, one second, two seconds, three seconds, whatever length in a darkened environment. But in this case, we didn't. So if you're in daylight... Or like we were at is a sunset. All you're doing is just letting it trigger. Alternatively, you could use a third-party system, or if your camera has the built-in ability to do time lapse, use that uh, built-in ability. So I just wanted to mention that that there is another way to use the motor the way as it was intended to do longer exposures, which is not practical in daylight. Okay. So. And uh, I used it close to the ground, so we would get that sense of movement, which if you had this up higher and everything is at a long distance, you might not even see, because it, it's, what I think, just under three feet slighter mm -hmm. in length. So it's not a lot of distance. A lot of travel. movement, no. But I think you'll see in time lapse that by lowering it and putting something in the foreground, you do get that sense of movement. One other thing I wanted to add that I did a complaint about the bag, and I want to correct that before we get into it. You'll hear that here in a moment. Okay. That actually if the battery is removed, the case does zip up. So it's tight with the motor on, but it will. So that just limited. So there's two problems with the unit. One was a bad battery and a bad battery charger. So. Right. Okay. Let's go out in the field and actually do something. stop talking and do something, yes. All right, well, Fred and I have been asked to do an actual time lapse with the Nier. There's another pronunciation. Newer. Got let's just... Let's, uh, uh, an official Chinese said, no, it's a Nier, which makes kind of sense because that would be more phonetic. But anyway, whatever the heck the damn thing is. Let's just call it newer, yeah. and why don't you talk about some different things here. Okay, well, the Nier Sire here, we got to, we're got. we actually going to do a time lapse. We had a couple requests, and with the virus and things going on, we haven't been able to get out. So we're at a local park here, and I wanted to bring up a couple things, too, that since we did the original review, one was little battery charger I mean they couldn't have cheapened this up anymore the battery actually just doesn't even hold in place it just falls right out so my advice is get yourself another battery charger that if you've got the ones that came with the slider it's really a piece of junk also I kind of wish that the case was just that much wider because if it was the motor would fit in there and you could zip it up as it is right now the uh, motor prevents the zipper from closing and to take that all apart is a pain in the butt because then you got to put it back together it'd be nice to keep it set up so you just lift it out like i did here set it up and do your time lapse okay so we're going to do a short time lapse this is nothing special we're waiting for a special location which just seems to be out of well it just seems to be kind of out of bounds and plus a lot of the areas are so crowded where people can go do things like appreciate sunsets, things of that nature. So we are just basically going to give you at least a good view of a yeah, time yeah, just lapse. Just an overview, just show yeah. you the time lapse and how we set it up. Okay. Now the uh, first thing, we're going to go into the uh, app and I'm going to go over the uh, specifications of the, the app for you. 
<clears throat> okay, so we go checked our time our slider in there, and of course I'm not gonna go through everything. So first the video shoot, of course, you set the A and B positions. You want to use the full length <clears throat> of the uh, the slider. And since the slider is so short that we want something in the foreground. So in this case we uh, have a pine tree in there. You want something, otherwise you're not going to see the movement, right Fred? Pretty so, much, yeah. So we'll go to the time lapse. And this is really confusing to some people. The frames is the time between the frames. And right now I've got this set at 12 seconds. The shutter, I'm using the unit to fire the shutter, but I've got the camera set on uh, um, aperture priority and that way it will trigger the camera. The other thing is to make sure the camera is not in multi mode otherwise it's going to click several times so make sure it's in single shot mode. Let me do that right here right now. <clears throat> and then the number of frames I've got it set up for 300 frames so it shows that our shot length as you see in the lower left there is 59 minutes 49 seconds and then it'll count out the pictures as we take it. You hit the little aperture there, which is the start, and there it goes, and it should start. So, now we just wait. <laughs> All right, well, this yeah. is the boring part. Oh, the boring part. Now we sit and, uh, and wait and wait yeah. and wait. Because at this point, and the camera can't, we can't touch it. Nope. Um, but this is. So we're time lapsing it. The essence of time lapse. Yeah, the essence of time lapse. If you bring yeah. your other camera body with another lens, you may want to uh, do some things close by. I don't know if I would walk well, too far away if you're in a one more park like here. we are, but. We started to do this and the battery crapped out, which was just charged. So not only their charger is no good, the battery that they send with it's no good either. The battery is uh, brand new, came with did the you unit. Use, did you charge that battery on a different charger? Yeah, oh yeah. No, I charged it on the charger that came no, with it. No, I'm saying it, the one that you put on there, the secondary battery you had. Oh yes, yes of course. That was charged on a new charger? That battery was originally charged on another charger. Oh, was this it? This is the first time I used this charger and uh, so Two things. So the charger if doesn't seem to be that, good, and the battery. Make sure you buy another charger right. and a battery. So. And by the way, there are a few good brand names out yep. there. Wasabi makes some good ones. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and they're relatively inexpensive. Yep. All things. You could probably get a two-pack with a charger for a decent yeah, price. Yeah. Everything that they crapped out on a battery. Well, let's so. go take a nap. Yeah. <laughs>